Some of the original copper wainscoting. Coating. Not polished well, but relatively intact. Difficult to see in the dim light. The multitude of squares is the line. Bent to the basement. Through the grill work, under the stairs. And down we go. Now this, at least that this is late here. I mean, this is all in the military. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave that here. One thing that I find interesting whenever I come down here is. On this main staircase, every flight of stairs you go down on it, the temperature drops 10 degrees. Now, you don't notice it so much now as you do in the summer because this is, you know, partly underground. This is the basement, you know, and it's partly underground, and it does retain a, a little more heat than it does up there. Um, down here, when the sanatorium was here, this is where, well, if we come over here, they, there's restroom and shower facilities over here. There is an area where the employees were given the option. They could either um, live off the grounds and take a full salary, or they could take a test salary and live on the grounds. If they lived on the grounds, uh, their sleeping rooms were over here. They had a big pool table that sat right underneath the main staircase. Over here, they had a beauty shop and a barber shop. And in the big room that, well, there's a smaller room that's directly behind you on the other side of it. There's the laundry room. And if you want to circle around this way and look through, and then whenever we go down into the other part, then I'll tell you about it. This here's where the, the uh, laundry chute comes out. <laughs> That's where the guy comes out. That's where the guy comes out. That's where the guy comes out. The ending of the laundry chute. That would be a ride. That is a steep one. Yeah, you take, take a ride down through there. <laughs> Showers, huh? Hang on, they're all, most of these on this side is all showers and bathrooms. Why? 
This morning when they took a game, I guess steam baths or game hot baths or whatever you, whatever you call it, they got they got the place where they got clothes and uh, and then they got shower rooms there, two shower rooms, and then the bathroom. Security wires over all the windows. Wouldn't want the patients to get out. Where they would repair and make linens and clothes for the patients. Nice warm wood floor. I had many, many sewing machines on it. Cars parked for the flea market next door. And back into the main base. There's wood cabinetry in one of the basement office areas. Great deal of water damage. Dry rot. This is the laundry area. Places where they used to have the big wash tubs and boilers, cabinets to shelves, patients' personal laundry. Caulking is making little. Is that old, real? <laughs> <laughs> Not over my head. <laughs> That's the historical thing there, Don. Look at that. Take that home and treasure it. A lot. Let me see it. I don't know. Well, furniture and stuff like that. 
That's why I said, if you don't want to go over there, now see, right through here, you'll go into the, um, the cafeteria. And then right on from the cafeteria is where, like, the shock therapy room was and like that. Now, this door here was one of them that came out of down in the back because it's where they kept what, the more severe of the male patients. I mean, they had these, these doors like this. I mean, you got to see, we got this awesome key that unlocks these things. <laughs> now, the locks have been taken off of this, but... We put this here because we figured it would discourage anybody from trying to break in. At least the crowbar was working. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure my name gets in? She's got to check with you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to go. Okay. I'm just going to leave this log thing so everybody can sign in. Kurt and Bone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.